vibration, yeah That's the positive vibes and we create it, yeah Well, hello my queens and kings <sighs> the day is Sunday, January the 21st, guys, and I have had a full, full, full month in the month of January. January has flown by. Um, as we know, you've already seen my birthday footage, so I had my whole birthday event, which was the second weekend or maybe the third, second weekend in um, January, and I did not vlog at all last week because I was worn out. When I tell you that thing wore me out, it wore me out. So just to recap, we did a private um, wine class at Total Wine. Absolutely amazing, hands down, hands up, down to the two guys who hosted it. And um, after that, we slid over to Three Forks in Jacksonville. Had an amazing time. They don't open until 5, but we got there around 4. Um, um, we drank. So basically, the bar area opens at 4 o'clock. So we um, all drinks were on me. And after that, we transitioned over to a private dining area. Now, see, here's the thing. I didn't even know that... I had a private dining area because when I talked to the coordinator, she said that the area was booked, so I couldn't get it. So I just planned to be in a regular dining room. They must have known that we were going to be turned. I saw how turned we were at, uh, I call it happy hour. It wasn't really happy hour, but at happy hour. And we ended up with a private room, and that was the best thing. When I tell you, hands down, I don't even remember a lot because I drank some wine at, at, at um, Total Wine. I put the, I put it down, honey. I drank some wine, so I I everything was just kind of like a blur. Then I had um, at happy hour, I think I had Remy on the rocks. Then I don't know, I had all kind of stuff. But anyway, the room was set up so nice. My cousin and um, my daughter, and y'all, I don't have an actual real daughter. Y'all know I don't have a blood daughter, but. The daughter that I'm referring to, she's actually my son's ex-girlfriend, but we just bonded like that. It's crazy. You can't, you cannot help who you bond with. I know he may be offended. We have not had a conversation about that, but um, I love her. I love her. She's going to always be a part of my life, and she's not a person that causes conflict or anything like that, and um, whoever he decides to be with, if she wants to, you know, continue to come around, she she has to respect res respect that, and he has to respect her. So, um, but like I say, that could be like a touchy little situation. But anywho, let me digress. My um, daughter and my cousin pretty much set everything up for me. I had the vision with me just telling them kind of just a quick idea of what I was going for. They they executed my vision completely and um it wasn't anything over the top or anything i just had my little gift bags my um cupcake boxes and everything and it just made everything so cute and then there was a drink i like sidecars um that's a little fun fact about me i like sidecars one of my favorite uh sidecars is from ruth chris and it's the blackberry sidecar but three forks has one called the um strawberry rolls sidecar absolutely amazing so i had them to um put a sidecar a strawberry roll sidecar at everybody's table regardless if they drink it or not because somebody was gonna drink the stuff if they did i was gonna drink it and um with everything set up it was just absolutely amazing all of the ladies were beautiful and they're all black because i had them wear all black and as you can see i had them all red so the I just had an amazing time. My 44th birthday was absolutely amazing. It screamed me. It embodied everything that I am now. So, um, but needless to say, it wore me out. Then Bay came in town. No, Sunday. Sunday, I was tired, but I had already made plans with my immediate family, which is my sister, her kids, my son, grandson, that we were going to top golf and going for pizza because me my son's birthday was on the 12th my birthday was on the 14th we both love pizza so what a way to celebrate and to go have pizza so we were going to mellow mushroom for pizza top and top golf but we only ended up going to mellow mushroom because it everybody wasn't able to attend so it was just me my son one of my nieces my sister and my mom so we was like it's not gonna be no fun because i was out of it I was dehydrated, all of that. I was not gonna play anything at Top Golf, so I pushed through, went there, came back home. 
slept. I was off Monday and Tuesday from work. And honey, I just made sure I was hydrated. I was drinking Pedialyte. Well, the packets, I was pouring the Pedialyte packets in water. Because baby, I was shaking. I was trembling. I knew at that moment that I was dehydrated. So I had to make sure I got hydrated. But they came home early on Monday. And um, I made him take a nap with me. So he took a nap for a little while and then he had to go do some stuff for his mom. And uh, later that evening, we went back to Three Forks, me, him, and one of my favorite uh, cousins. And we went there and we drank and we ordered a whole bunch of appetizers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh -oh. And we didn't really want any heavy food. We did that, came back home, then Tuesday was rainy, and I loved every bit about rainy Tuesday because we kind of pretty much stayed in bed. We were going to go for brunch, but we went right to Chick-fil-A, rolled through the drive through and got us something to eat and came back and went to sleep. So that was pretty much um, my birthday, and then the rest of the week I had to go back to work. So that was hard trying to grasp around my head like, yeah, I got to start work. Even if I had took off the rest of the week, I had already booked clients. So I was like, I might as well go to work. But yeah, so that's how my week went. I did not vlog at all. But I am back. It's a fresh week. It's Sunday. Um, I'm getting ready to go celebrate my homegirl Terry's birthday. Um, she'll be 44 as well. T Breezy. So what she decided to do for her birthday is to go to a gun range. And I've never been to a gun range. I'm going to tell you a story about it guns me and guns but i've never been to a gun range um and then after that we're going to hop dotties our favorite place so we can have the larry y'all gotta check out hop dotties if y'all don't have a hop dotties in y'all area i feel bad for y'all because it's a cute little spot um they basically focus on like burgers kind of like gourmet burgers they have burger bowls they have stuff for people that are vegans um and the portion sizes are large and um they have a drink called the Larry which is like a margarita and it also has Grand Marnier in it all you need is one and it's gonna put you down it's gonna sit you down so I'm excited for today's events even though today is the coldest day of the year thus far I think the high is gonna be 49 so I'm not looking forward to that part but I am looking forward to celebrate my homegirl um but back to the guns guys listen once um my ex, well, I can't call him my ex, but the, the guy, the, the guy I tell you about, Robert, who passed away, um, I always looked to say he was my protection. I just felt safe with him. But I ended up going and getting, purchasing a gun. I felt like I needed a gun. Um, crazy stuff, COVID coming, coming up, just the world going crazy. So let me go on and get me a gun because I don't know if they're going to take where our gun rights. So I went ahead and got a gun. Um, one of my besties, Lachey, she went with me and my, um, cousin and they ended up telling me i needed this little baby gun right here i don't even know what it is it's a smith and smith and west and bodyguard it's little real little but all i needed was something little but needless to say since i purchased this which was in 2019 like towards the end of 2019 yeah right before covid really became a thing thing um i, I purchased this let me see one more Actually, I'm lying because uh, I knew it was COVID hard. So I actually got this, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this. 8-1-2020. I have never taken it out of the bag. Never. It's still in the same bag it came in. The bullet's still here. All the bullets in here. It's just been in the bag in my nightstand. Shoot, did I even open this thing? Okay. Still in the case. So, yeah. I'm going to take it. I'm very afraid. I do not like guns. I don't like guns at all. Um, even when I was taking my concealed weapons class and I was looking at those videos and people mistakenly shooting themselves, uh, it is me. I'm afraid. So, I'm going to the gun range. I don't know if I'm going to really shoot because... Then my cousins was telling me yesterday that when they went and shot for the first time, their hands was bleeding. I use these hands to, to work magic and to do hell. No. No. So, I don't know. 
guys the bird is still out i'm gonna try to get some footage i don't even know if i rec can record in there but we're gonna see we're gonna see um what else oh I haven't ate anything today, but yesterday, guys, my family, the, the women in my family are absolutely hands down amazing. My mom, if you have not met my mom, for those of you that are, know me that are watching it, y'all can tell you, my mom is a dope woman. She's a beautiful woman. She's a God-fearing woman, and she's so wise, and she's so graceful. So she put together this, um, I won't call it an event, but this thing for the women in our family, and it's called the Thomas Ladies um family gathering so basically what we do is we pray we it's a time for us to be vulnerable and transparent and hoping that our experiences that we share in our vulnerability um can help each other through lives from our youngest um um female to our oldest female our youngest female there she was one years old as mara and my aunt i'm not sure how old my aunt shirley is but i think She's about almost 90, and Lord forgive me. Auntie, if you're watching this, forgive me. I don't want to make you older than what you are. But being old is not a bad thing. I used to fear get old, but I don't anymore. My only thing is I, I just want to still look the same, which I know that's, that's probably going to take a toll on me. But the wisdom that I have now versus from when I was younger, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to being young and dumb. I don't. So, um, But anyway... That was our span from basically one years old all the way to 90 years old. But as Mara's the one year old, her mom juices now. Now I'm showing you this container and it this is not her logo. This is one of my homegirl Tipsy Tips. I had this bottle for so long. She started, um, she's a bartender, but she also teaches um, bartending classes in Jacksonville. And we used to uh, support her and buy her juices. I don't even know if she still does these individual juices, but I can't say I have not purchased anything from her in years. But needless to say, I still had this bottle. So my cousin um, was juicing yesterday, and man, her juices were amazing. So she did put me some juices in two of these bottles, and this is a plastic bottle. She normally stores them in glass bottles, but I was going to drink them right away, and it's not good to store your juices in um plastic bottles but these um are fresh fruits and i don't know what's in this one i just know every juice that she made yesterday i tasted it she probably made maybe like five different juices and they were all delicious so i'm gonna drink this to get the day going i'm not gonna eat anything because i'm ready to mess something up at hop daddy's i need my appetite whole for when i go there so that's what I'm doing. Um, I already did my hair and makeup. I did it early because it's probably like 1, 1 o'clock now. But we don't have to be to the gun range until 3. But I wanted to edit. And I know sometimes when I start editing, I get stuck in it because I'm like, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. I don't want to stop. So I said, you know what? Let me get dressed early. And then I edit. And then that way I could just get up and just run out the door. But I'm thinking about wearing this sweatsuit. Right here, and I got this from an Instagram boutique. I cannot remember the name of it. If I remember the name of it, I will pop it up there because the tag is not who it is. But I might wear this. It's a hoodie, and I honestly, when my hair is longer, I don't like wearing things with collars and hoods on them. But and I still don't. I don't even know how this fits because I had this for a long time, and I never worn it. So hopefully, it fits. If it doesn't, I think what I'm gonna do is, um. With that jacket I got from Amazon with the, the flowers on it and maybe some black, my black leggings and black long sleeve top from my outfit online and keep it simple and put on some sneakers. So that's um what I got going on this day. It seemed like I had to tell y'all something else, but I remember. But I've talked to y'all long enough as this introduction on this first day of the week goes me back to my vlogging um but yeah okay i will talk to y'all later i love you guys feeling young but they treat me like the og and they want to the tea on me i swear these bitches nosy said he put some money on my head i guess we gon' see i won't put no money on this head my niggas owe me 
I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me On no those traits in a race, they can't hold me And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me And I'm too about it And the dirt that they threw on my name turned to soil and I grew about it Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it Big wheels keep rolling, rolling I'm outside, 29 G5, Seaside, I've been losing friends and finding peace But honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me If I ever heard one and I'm still here Outside, front line, south side I've been losing friends and finding peace Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me Look, don't invite me over here to throw another pity party Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started I don't know who love me, but I know that it ain't everybody I can never love, she a busybody Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, mama used to be on disability But gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high And her back straight I don't think you feeling me I'm out here that's, 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 Yeah, that's the old, uh, I forgot What's the name of it? It's the It was a little whore then Wait, wait, let me see. I'm gonna rip my motherfucking tail. Y'all ain't doing no fucking play. Y'all ain't doing no shit like that. Ishonda. You crossing the motherfucking line, Ishonda. <laughs> you crossing the motherfucking line. You getting disrespect for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put a dip on your chill. <laughs> <laughs> I am you the mother. I hold it down. I don't care about this shit. Let's say the war. I, I don't care about this. last song, Terry. What the fuck is the rest of your thumb? Look at this shit. Oh god. One, two. I don't know what game this is. And then she no. I didn't play this shit. I shot dice. I ain't do no shit like this when I was growing up. You're a real nigga. I ain't. I, I shot dice. I didn't do no fucking hand games growing up. My mama ain't had no money when I was growing up. I had to use my money. And I'm Nike Cortez. I ain't trying to play no dumb games. This the bitch got every pair of fucking drawers. Come on. <laughs> Ebony, you got to lace up my motherfucking wig. Ishana, please. You be thinking that. Ishana, your wig oh, wasn't no. even that long. Why you was even touching way down there? Where? Over here? You was like right here. Where? Bitch. Wait, what? When I touched it? Just now. I was like this. Exactly. You wasn't touching nothing. <laughs> Okay. You trying to can you do me a favor? When you fasting on them 21 days, not call my phone or text my phone. Yeah, no. So if I don't, you go, no, if we don't have orders. No, 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 no. King the 21 days. If we go eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have a motherfucking orders. We gonna do that. We gonna do the Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. You my life here, Rojo. I love it. No, 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 no. I'm Terry. Don't, don't motherfucking light skin, dark skin, Asian, none of that shit. Well, to nobody. You, you, I'm just Terry. Terry, 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 a Asian. 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 I am irreplaceable. Uh -oh. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Because I can have another you in a minute. In a a matter of fact, he'll be he'll here, be in, here a in a minute. So that's yes, the man. All your bads because we finished. Because so we finished. Because we in it. Because I don't have another you no. in Whatever a minute. Whatever it says. So don't uh uh uh. This Asian Terry. So go ahead and be gone. Tell that chick that she could be gone. Oops, I bet you thought that I never knew. But I couldn't see it around her. But you were untrue. Running around in the shit that I bought you. Baby, get them keys. Hurry up before your taxi leaves. Staring in the front yard. Then I 
and I hide my feelings of food. Talking about, I never ever find a man like you. You got me twisted. You must not know about Asian Terry. You must not know about Asian Terry. Okay. Because I could have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. So go and grab all your bags till we finish. You got a major bag I lay in it. Oh, shit. I knew that. We added that in there. Just because that was not. Oh uh -huh.